your skin is renewed every three months, which means in three months from now, you will have a completely new skin. And, um, you know, that is made from what you eat. So the food that you eat, you know, determines uh, the quality of your skin or the new skin that you will have in three months from now. And I know that sounds logical, uh, but, you know, still a kind of to many people it does not. Or uh, let's put it that way, many people, you know, uh, um, uh, want to close their eyes, you know, to that fact. And, uh, for, you know, for example, on the natural human diet, there is no such thing as uh, bad skin or acne, blemishes, you know. So um, there is a reason why we associate uh, health with great skin, you know. Um, so a lot of skin issues, for example, can be, you know, solved simply by improving your diet, you know, by adapting the natural human diet. For example, eczema or, you know, a, a lot of women get like hyperpigmentation uh, during pregnancy. You know, so all that is related <coughs> to the diet, to the food that you eat. To give an example, you know, um, saturated fats are so important, you know, it's the building block of every hormone. Like, um, you know, without saturated fats, you basically cannot function properly. And so, uh, you know, the question is, where do you get your saturated fats from? You know, because oil is not a fat. So in the plant world, you know, it's, uh, you get oils, you know, but we need saturated fats. And you get that primarily from animal products, you know, like uh, butter, um, meat, of course, the fatty part of the meat. That's why, for example, I make sure when I uh, buy meat, I buy the fatty meat. You know, I do not want the lean meat because I know how important fat is. So, and also you find uh, fat in, uh, in the yolk, you know, in the egg yolk. And in dairy, of course, you know, if it's a whole milk, if it's the, the um, like, uh, of course, yogurt, raw milk, uh, raw milk cheese, that's where you find um, the fats.